नेपाल टेलीकॉम नेपाल स्पेल बी प्रेजेंटेड बाय नेपाल टेलीकॉम राष्ट्र को संचार इन एसोसिएशन विद कोलगेट डेंटल क्रीम लिएगो स्टाइलिश फोन बोर्न टू बी स्टाइलिश पावर्ड बाय कृषि विकास बैंक तपाई हाम्रो घर आंगन को बैंक ब्रॉट टू यू बाय Bradford Education Consultancy, New Baneshwar, Kathmandu. Oli and Associates, Australian Visa and Student Centre. Grace International, Education and Migration, Bridge Blue Global Education, Sister Organisation of Eminent Educational Institutes. Shrinath Collection, the world class fabric, sponsored by Healthier, Tastier Rumba White Noodles. D A V Sushil Kedia Bishwab Harathi, Right Path Career Counselling. राष्ट्रीय वाणिज्य बैंक तपाई को आफ्नै बैंक मैजिक अफ फ्रूट्स गोल्डन गेट इन्टरनेशनल कलेज बत्तीस पुतली काठमाडौँ नेपाल एक कलेज कलंकी काठमाडौँ ऑर्गेनाइज बाय मलिन मीडिया एन्ड इभेन्ट को स्पोंसर कांगुरु एजुकेशन फाउन्डेशन बाबा एजुकेशन कन्सल्टेन्सी न्यू रोड काठमाडौँ कोरियन रेड जिन्सिङ को मिशन बाट बनेको हट सिक्स पावर अफ ड्रिंक्स मेट्स एजुकेशन पुतलसर काठमाडौँ supported by prime chartered accountancy kathmandu lincoln school maramaiju kathmandu grammar public high secondary school little star records reliance international academy ccma college putazara kathmandu creative partner fulcrum consulting app partner hamro patro yes ma sabai cha knowledge partner the kathmandu post hospitality partners hotel sathi best hotel of its class in thangari होटल जलमहल पोखरा बुटीक फैमिली रिजॉर्ट वेलकम टू नेपाल टेलीकॉम प्रेजेंट नेपाल एल बी इन एसोसिएशन विद कोलगेट डेंटल क्रीम लिएगो स्टाइलिश फोन Powered by Krishi Vikas Bank, the Bay Hamro Karangan Group Bank. Brought to you by Bradford Education Council Tensi, Oli and Associate, Bridge Blue Global, Grace International, and Sri Nath Collection. Organized by Malin Media. Before we actually start spelling today, let's talk about life. Okay? How would you like to explain the country that we were so fortunate to born to? I think it's a country of opportunities and less opportunities. What do you exactly mean by that? We've got all the resources. I mean, we've got all the necessary uh, infra not infrastructures like we've got many sources, water sources. We have we have a bountiful of um, panoramic uh, beauty, natural beauty and many more. I think the only need uh, for our generation and the generations to come is to explore them and to manage them very good thoughts what do you think about the country that you were born to well i think our country is uh, really uh, beautiful it has a lot of resources and yeah like she said we are lagging at utilizing it and yeah one more thing i'd like to say is really a little um uh, miss unfortunate that we are uh, a landlocked country because there are a lot of resources that is associated with sea but yeah it's high time we should realize that we're not brain locked and utilize all the resources that we have That's we're not brain locked we're not that's brain very locked. well said that is correct what about you mr kapoor first of all i want all of us to be very grateful uh, for the fact that we we were born in nepal that's all and what do you think that we have and we have not utilized as these two ladies just said First of all, it's our natural resources. I believe we have so much potential, but we haven't even used a fraction of it. What do you think the reason is? I believe it's due to our politics. Politics? Yes, it's not performing the way we want them to perform, right? Yes, sir. And I wish I could see some of you in the limelight of politics someday and and making decisions, the right decisions for the country. And of course, whatever you're doing now is very essential. you have to learn before you actually act so learning don't ever think of quitting the learning process it never ends and let's get into our game now all right let's spell some fantastic words and let's try our luck and as we all know that the first round we have is the kathmandu post spell it round and in which 
the round gives you the words, the grammatical category it falls in, and the meaning of it. And you, all you have to do is spell it. All right? <laughs> Team A. Are you ready? Yes, sir. The first word I want you to spell is the word practitioner. Practitioner. It's a noun and it means a person actively engaged in an art, discipline or profession, especially medicine. Practitioner. P-R-A-C-T-I-O-N-E-R. -E Practitioner. Can you spell that slowly for me again? Practitioner. P-R-A-C-T-I-O-N-E-R. -E Practitioner. This was a tricky one. You misspelled it. I'm sorry. The right spelling for the word practitioner is P-R-A-C-T-I-T-I-O-N-E-R. -E the second word I want you to spell for me is a noun, which means the branch of medicine and biology concerned with immunity. And the word is immunology. Can you spell immunology for me, please? Immunology. I-M-M-U-N-O-L-O-G-Y. Immunology. That is correct. I-M-M-U-N-O-L-O-G-Y. Immunology. The third word I want you to spell for us is the word appraisal. It's a noun and it means an act of assessing something or someone. Appraisal is the word. Appraisal. A-P-P-R-A-I-S-E-L. Appraisal. Unfortunately, you messed it up in the end of the spelling. Appraisal is rightly spelled as A-P-P-R-A-I-S-A-L, not E-L. The fourth word I want you to spell for me is a noun. And the word means an option or conclusion formed on the basis of incomplete information. The word is conjecture. Conjecture. C O N J U C T U R E. Conjecture. Again, you list it by one little letter. Conjecture is rightly spelled as C O N J E C T U R E, not J U. The next word I want you to spell is an adjective, and it means showing criminal or evil purpose. The word is felonious. 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 F E L O N I O U S. Felonious. That is correct. And the last word in your set I want you to spell for us is a noun. One of the highest class of offense and punishable with death or imprisonment. The word again is related to the last word. The word is felony. Can you spell the word felony for me? Felony. F-E-L-O-N-Y. Felony. That is correct. <laughs> Team B, are you ready for your set of words? Yes, sir. Have you been to Chitwan? No. Have you seen films or pictures about Chitwan? Sometimes. There's a large plant-eating mammal with one or two horns on the nose and thick folded skin. It's a noun. The word is rhinoceros. Rhinoceros, R-H-I-N-O-C-E-R-O-S, rhinoceros. That is correct. In our part of the world, the rhinoceros are one-horned, and in Africa, we get two-horned rhinoceros, which are larger than the rhinoceros here in Nepal. The second word is also a noun, and the meaning of the word is removal of all microorganisms and other pathogens from an object or surface by treating it with chemicals or subjecting it to high heat or radiation. The word is sterilization. Can you spell the word sterilization for me, please? Sterilization. S-T-E-R-I-L-A-Z-A-T-I-O-N. Sterilization. Can you spell the word slowly again? Sterilization. S-T-E-R-I-L-A-Z-A-T-I-O-N. L-I-Z-A-T-I-O-N, sterilization. That is correct. Sterilization, S-T-E-R-I-L-I-Z-A-T-I-O-N. The next word I want you to spell for me is an adjective, and it means inconsistent with itself. And the word is contradictory. Can Pardon you spell sir? the word contradictory? 
for me please contradictory c o n t r a d i c t o r y contradictory that's absolutely correct c o n t r a d i c t o r y the next word is a verb and it means surround or encircle and the word is wreath can you spell the word wreath for me please pardon sir wreath 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 to surround or encircle wreath w r i t h wreath unfortunately that's incorrect wreath is spelled w r e a t h e the next word i want you to spell is a noun and it means a personal weakness or failing the word is foible can you spell the word foible for me please foible foible yes foible foible f a u a b l e foible you tried it but that is incorrect the right spelling for foible is f o i b l e the last word i have for you is a verb and the meaning of the word is to palm off and the word is foist can you spell the word foist for me please foist foist yes foist f o i s t foist that is correct f o i s t foist team c are you ready for your set the first word i have for you is a noun which means a kind of bird national bird of Nepal and the word is it's the scientific name for the word lophophorus is the right word can you spell lophophorus for me please l o p h o p h o r u s lophophorus that is correct l o p h o p h o r u s lophophorus commonly known as daffy the next word i have for you is an adjective and it means feeling or showing sympathy and concern for others the word is compassionate can you spell the word compassionate for me please compassionate c o m p a s s i o n a t e compassionate that is correct the third word i have for you is an adjective and it means not normal or acceptable and the word is aberrant 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 a b e r r a n t aberrant that is correct the next word i have for you is a noun which means the dark shape and outline of something or someone seen against a lighter background the word is silhouette can you spell the word silhouette for me please silhouette s i l h o u E T T E silhouette. That is absolutely correct. S I L H O U E T T E silhouette. The next word I have for you is a verb, which means to subject to the action of smoke or fumes, especially for disinfection. The word is fumigate. Can you spell the word fumigate for me, please? Fumigate. Yes, fumigate. Fumigate. F U M I C A T E. Fumigate. You missed it by one letter. I wanted you to spell the word fumigate, and you spelled fumigate. Fumigate is spelled F U M I G A T E. The next word is a noun, and it means official. The word is functionary. Can you spell the word functionary for me, please? Functionary. F U N C T I O N A R Y functionary. That is absolutely correct. Functionary F U N C T I O N A R Y. So we come to the end of the first round in this episode and before I give you the scores let's take a short break. Presented by Nepal Telecom Rashtrako Sansar in association with Colgit Dental Cream. No cavities go dar, no maya masangot. Liego Stylish Phone, born to be stylish. Powered by Krishi Bikas Bank, Tapai Hamro Ghar Angan Ko Bank. Brought to you by 
Bradford Education Consultancy, New Baneshwar, Kathmandu. Oli and Associates, Australian Visa and Student Centre. Grace International, Education and Migration, Bridge Blue Global Education, Sister Organisation of Eminent Educational Institutes. Srinath Collection, the world class fabric. Sponsored by Healthier, Tastier Rumba White Noodles. DAV Sushil Kedia Bishwa Bharati. Right Path Career Counseling. Rashtriya Banerjee Bank, Tapaiko Afne Bank. The magic of fruits. Golden Gate International College, Battis Putali Kathmandu. Nepale College, Kalanki Kathmandu. Organized by Malin Media and Event. Welcome back after the break. And the scores are as follows. Nothing to worry about, just the beginning. Plenty of catching up to do. Team A, you've scored 30 points in this round. <laughs> Team B, you've scored 40 points in this round. And Team C, you're leading by 50 points. So let's play the second round, which is the key round of our spell B. We all spell B's, so let's play the spell Hive Round. Before we actually go to the round two, which is spell Hive Round, I have a little gift from on behalf of the Kathmandu Post for winning this round, the Kathmandu Post Spell It Round, and it is won by Sonica. Can you come and collect a six-month subscription? Six-month subscription of the Kathmandu Post. Congratulations. Okay, now let's play the round two of our game and it's called the Spell Hive Round. Team A, do you want to stick to the order or you want to jump and give it to somebody else? Let's stick to the order. Alright, so can we have the hive for Team A on the screen please? The first word begins with the letter R and the word means to look and interpret letters or other information that is written. The second word means imaginary events seen in the mind while sleeping. The third word means to regard with wonder and delight. And the fourth word means to admit again. Fifth word, one who negotiates between parties seeking mutual agreement. These are your words. Your time is ticking. Start spelling it if you know it. The first word is read, R-E-A-D, read. The second word is dream, D-R-E-A-M, dream. You still got time. Pardon me, the last word is uh, mediator, M-E-D-I-A-T-E-R, mediator. Still got time? Admit again. To regard with wonder and delight. The time is up. Okay, Team A, you attempted to spell and say the word of three categories. And the first one you said was read. To look at the and interpret letters or other information that is written. Yes, of course, it's read, R-E-A-D. Imaginary events seen in the mind while sleeping. Of course, it is dream, D-R-E-A-M. The third one you did not spell or say. To regard with wonder and delight. Admire is the right word. A D M I R E. To admit again, simple as that. Readmit. R E A D M I T. And the fifth word you spelt, you said it right, 
you spelled it wrong. You spelled it with an E in the end, but mediator is spelled M-E-D-I-A-T-O-R. Team B. Now, are you ready for your hive? Yes, sir. Can we have the hive on the screen, please? The first word starts with the letter R, and it means to travel oneself by sitting on something. The second word means motivation or to do, achieve something. The third word means to obtain or receive something from something else. And the fourth word means to experience something again in the past tense. And the last word means the act of giving birth. So, your time is ticking. Start spelling if you know it. The first one is Rome, R O A M, Rome. Carry on. What did you say the word is? Rome, R O A M. Second one means motivation to do or achieve something. And the third one means to obtain or receive something from something else. To experience something again. In the past tense. And the act of giving birth. Your time's up. And the first word you said was R O A M, roam. I don't think you roam riding on something. Ride is the right word, roam was wrong. And you did not attempt anything else. The second one, motivation to do or achieve something. It's the drive, yes. D R I V E, to obtain or receive something from something else. To derive something. The word is derive and to experiencing something again. In the past tense, you live and you relive. And in the past tense, it's relived. The act of giving birth is? Delivery. Exactly, that is the word delivery. All right, Team C, are we ready? Can we have the hive for Team C on the screen, please? Okay, your word, the first word, starts with the letter C, it means Close attention or concern. The second word means to give one's response over something. The third word means to put something into existence. And the fourth word means a person who teaches specially, one employed in a school. And the fifth word is a small tube inserted into a body cavity to remove fluid or administer a drug. The first word is care, C-A-R-E, care. The third word Create, C-R-E-A-T-E, create. Uh, the fourth word, teacher, T-E-A-C-H-E-R, teacher. To give one's response over something. And the fifth word means a small tube inserted into a body cavity to remove fluid or administer a drug. The last word, T R A C H. No, no.
things up. You said the first word, close attention or concern. You said the word was care. That is correct, C-A-R-E. The second one you did not attempt, to give one's response over something. The word is react, R-E-A-C-T, react. The third word, to put something into existence, you said the word was create, C-R-E-A-T-E, that is correct. A person who teaches, especially one employed in a school, the word is the teacher, T-E-A-C-H-E-R. The last word you did not attempt, or you tried to attempt, but that was incorrect, a small tube inserted into a body cavity to remove fluid or administer a drug. The word is catheter, C-A-T-H-E-T-E-R, catheter. That was the end of the second round. Before I give you the scores, let's take a short break. Presented by Nepal Telecom Rastroko Santa in association with Colgate Dental Cream. Na kya vitis ko dar? Na maya masangot. Liego Stylish Phone, born to be stylish. Powered by Krishi Bikas Bank. Tapai hamro ghar angan ko bank. Brought to you by Bradford Education Consultancy, New Baneshwar, Kathmandu. Oli and Associates, Australian Visa and Student Center. Grace International. Education and Migration, Bridge Blue Global Education, Sister Organization of Eminent Educational Institutes, Srinath Collection, The World Class Fabric. Supported by Prime Chartered Accountancy, Kathmandu Lincoln School, Maramaiju Kathmandu, Grammar Public High Secondary School, Little Star Records, Reliance International Academy, CCMA College, Vidhazarak Kathmandu, Creative Partner, Falcom Consulting, App Partner, Hamro Patro, Yesma Sabita. Knowledge Partner, The Kathmandu Post. Hospitality Partners. Hotel Sati, best hotel of its class in Thangari. Hotel Jalmahal Pokra, a boutique family resort. Okay, welcome back after the break. And before we go to the next round, let's get the scores right. Team A, you scored 30 in the first round. Second round earned you 15 points. Now you have 45 points. Team B, you scored 40 points in the first round, but unfortunately you did not score anything in the second round, so your score remains at 40. But nothing to worry, you have plenty of catching up to do. Team C, you earned 50 points in the first round, second round earned you 40 more points, now you stand at 90 points. The next round is interesting. A lot of ingredients, a lot of things to cook from, and you have a limitation. There's a letter in the middle of the circle, the ring, and that is the letter that you must use to construct words, okay? That's the trick of the game, and be very vigilant. You have 45 seconds to achieve as much as you want, okay? So team A, are you ready for your ring? Yes, sir. Okay, can we have the ring for team A on the board? Okay, your key letter is G. Start spelling or creating words as much as you want. Regular. R-E-G-U-L-A-R. Regular. Raise. R-A-G-E. Raise. Large L A Large L A R G E large Your time's up. You gave us three words out of the ring. The words you gave us was regular R E G U L A R correct R A G E rage correct L A R GE large correct and if you had given us the word irregular you would have had the bingo that was the longest word that you could have made so anyways team B are you ready for your ring yes sir can we have the ring for team B on the screen okay your key letter is M start building words out of it as much as you want
gram g r a m gram So many. Your time's up. You only gave us one word out of the ring, and the word you gave us was G R A M. That is correct. The longest word you could have made out of it was imaginary. Team C, are you ready for your ring? Can we have the ring for Team C on the screen, please? The key letter is G. Make as much as you want. L I G H T, light. Delight, D E L I G S T, delight. Okay. Sonika, you attempted three words out of the ring. You said light, L-I-G-H-T, light, correct? G-A-I-T, gate, correct? D-E-L-I-G-H-T, delight, was correct. And if you had used a little imagination and thought of the headlight, that would have been the longest word. Anyways, so before we embark to our buzzer round, which is, you know, a lot of catching up, a lot of negative markings, a lot of possibilities, and there are some very impossible moments also in the next round. But before we get into that, let's find out the scores thus far, All right? Team A, you gained 15 points out of this round, and you're scoring 60 points. <laughs> Team B, you managed to score only five points in this round, and your score is 45 points. And Team C, you had earned 90 points thus far, and you added 15 more, and now your score is 105 points. Now let's play the spell buzz round. We have two clues, two sets of clues. First clue, you spell it 10 points. And if you require the second clue, you'll get five points. And if you don't spell it right, negative points, negative five. So think, buzz, and then spell. I'll give you clues. It's an eight-lettered word with the first letter E. That means the production or sending out of light, heat, or gas, etc. It's an eight-letter word beginning with the letter E. That means the production or sending out of light, heat, or gas, etc. Et Team B. Enthalpy, E-N-T-H-A-L-P-Y, enthalpy. That is incorrect. The right word is emission. E-M-I-S-S-I-O-N was the right spelling and the right word. The second word I want you to spell is a 12-letter word, and it also begins with the letter E. That means a book or a set of books giving information about all areas of knowledge. Team C. Encyclopedia. E-N-C-L-Y-O-P-E-D-I-A. You sure? The instructions were enough, halfway. You said it right, but you spelled it incorrectly. Encyclopedia is spelled E-N-C-Y-C-L-O-P-E-D-I-A. Okay, we already have two negative markings in this round already. So whoever is supposed to gain, they're losing marks. The next word I want you to spell for me is a 12-letter word, which begins with the letter N. 
That means please stay put. Wait for the instructions to finish. It begins with the letter N. That means a person who is expert on the relationship between food and health. Team A. Nutritionist. N U T R I T I O N I S T. Nutritionist. That is correct. Nutritionist. N U T R I T I O N I S T. Nutritionist. The next word I have for you is a nine lettered word beginning with the letter O. That means the state in which a person's mind is completely filled with thoughts of one particular thing or person so they cannot think of anything else. What is that word? Completely filled with thoughts of one particular thing or person so they cannot think of anything else. Next clue. The other letters involved are N O I S S E S O B. Yes. Obsession. O B S E S S I O N. Obsession. That is correct. Obsession is the right word. O B S E S S I O N. Obsession. Okay. The second last word in the set is a ten lettered word with the first letter P. That means a word or phrase that reads the same backwards as forwards. That means a word or phrase that reads the same backwards as forwards. Next, I can give you one more clue. The other letters involved are N A L I P M R O E D. The time's up. The palindrome is the right word. Correct. It is spelled P A L I N D R O M E. The last word of the set and the last word of the episode. It's a nine-lettered word with first letter E. The word means a short journey made for pleasure, especially one that has been organized for a group of people. When you go out for a pleasure trip from school, that is the word. Yes. Excursion. E X C U R S I O N. Excursion. That is absolutely correct. Excursion is the word. E X C U R S I O N. So that brings us to the end of the episode of yet another quarterfinals. And two of you with the highest marks will graduate to go to the next round, that is the semi finals. And the lowest scorer has to unfortunately leave the game. That's the rule of the game, but this is not the end of the world. You've played very well. I'll tell you the scores and tell you. Who is going home? Uh, let's take a short break before that. Co-sponsor: Kangaroo Education Foundation, Baba Education Consultancy, New Road, Kathmandu. Korean Red Ginseng Ko Mission Butter Bane Ko Hot Six Power of Drinks. Mates Education, Puttal Sarak, Kathmandu. Presented by Nepal Telecom, Rashtra Ko Sansar, in association with. Colgate Dental Cream. No cavities go dar, no Maya masan go. Liego Stylish Phone, born to be stylish. Powered by Krishi Bikas Bank, Tapai Hamro Ghar Angan Ko Bank. Brought to you by Bradford Education Consultancy, New Baneshwar Kathmandu, Oli and Associates, Australian Visa and Student Centre, Grace International. Education and Migration, Bridge Blue Global Education, Sister Organization of Eminent Educational Institutes, Srinath Collection, the World Class Fabric. Welcome back after the break. Now we have the scores and some happy news and some goodbyes. The total score of Team A, you scored 10 points in the last round and your total score is 70 points. Team B, 
You did very well in the first round, but after that, something happened and you could not score much. So your total score is 40 points because of some negative marking also. And Team C, you've scored tremendously well throughout and your total score is 115 points. And you're the winner and Team A, you are the co-winner. You both graduate to go to the semifinals. And Anviti, I need to sign you a certificate of participation and bid you farewell from the game. But please, do whatever you're doing the best you can and you'll achieve much many bigger heights in the future. I'm for sure you would achieve heights in the future. And please collect your certificate and let's have a parting picture. Congratulations. Take your seats. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we come to an end of yet another quarterfinals. And please, the winners who graduated to go to the semifinals, start preparing. You've done a great job thus far, and I'm sure you're all potential winners. And Team B, I have to wish you all the very best for the future and wish you good luck. All the viewers watching us here and at home, we'll see you next week, same time on Kantipu Television. Have a great week. A safe week. Good night.